Yeah. Okay. So they get two hundred dollars no matter what if they sign up. No matter what. But they can buy the boutique. Right they get it at the sixty-five percent discount. If they so don't buy the boutique, they get it at a fifty. At the fifty percent discount. That's exactly right. right. Okay. So doing this, obviously, the most beneficial way for them to do this is to do one of these two things because here they're getting the jewelry at a sixty-five percent discount. And that $200 is being applied to at a 65% discount rate. If they just do this one, it's only being applied to the 50% discount rate. So obviously, they're going to get more bang for their buck if they do at least the My Premier Boutique or higher. Okay, obviously. That's just more jewelry for their table. But if they cannot find the, the money, they're not approved for the card, whatever, they still can get $400 at bare minimum $400 in jewelry for signing up this month, bare minimum. That's crazy. Okay? How much did you spend to sign up and start your premiere? $1,225. Who spent $1,200 to sign up in premiere? Woo Who Woo spent $900 to sign up in premiere? Because you bought the silver kit. Who signed up with a My Premier Boutique and spent $900? Yeah. It's crazy. At just thirteen hundred dollars worth of stuff for six hundred and seventy-five dollars total. That's insane. Okay, I wish I could just find a word to really describe hey, that. Yeah, you have been having like two or three shows. That's uh, crazy. My last training show, she paid for a boutique that night. Her training show. Because she, how much was her training show? It was six hundred before she closed, so she still had orders. She still had orders coming in, and she, she got her free jewelry. Yes. And was it somebody who signed up in June? Yeah, she just. Oh my God! Listen, okay, that's you. Listen, okay, listen. She had a six hundred dollar training show, six hundred dollar training show, and she paid for her my career routine. Mm -hmm. That is huge. Eighty dollars free jewelry because she got the bonuses. Oh, oh God! Shut up.
$10,000 this year. Oh, that's $395 investment. So and how many times you tell me $395 for $10,000? That's exactly right. You need to say that. I say all those things on your You have to say all this stuff that I'm, and which is exactly how I'm saying it too. <laughs> 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 well, watch I'm that video. Hey, y'all, I'm not going to be guys at school. And I'm not This makes me excited, okay? But if you don't capitalize on it, it won't be exciting. You understand? You're going to send us that video and we're all going to blow up people being on. Yep. Yes, I'm be hitting your I'm going to be like, like <laughs> 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 well, we're still going to be Okay. If you are in Cheryl Herman, my 10, 10, 10, or Danielle's 10, 10, 10, you have the chance to be a girl on fire for the month of June and July. And the reason we did it now is because you can flip and sponsor three people at the drop of a hat with this kind of mess. But you got to open your mouth to do it. Because nobody's going to come to you and say, I want to sign up because I heard that it was amazing deal in the mirror. They're not going to do that. It's not going to fall from heaven. You have to work. Okay? And so, what I want you to do is... Uh, Oh, so we're doing this Girl on Fire contest, right? <laughs> so, sorry. So from the June and July accounting periods, you have to do $5,000 in retail. You've got to sponsor three people. Well, I'm going to tell you, if you sponsor three people and just do one more, not only do you win a Kindle Fire, and if you're in mine, Cheryl, mine, and Danielle's 10, 10, 10, you can win three of them. But not only that, I know she's like, I'm like, you can win the cash, too. She's like, whatever, I'm going to uh, what's his name? William one. <laughs> I'm gonna get William one. I'm gonna get me one. And I'm gonna get Willie one. We're gonna get his birthday. I'm like, um, so, anyways, listen here. Listen here. You can win a Kindle Fire, but if you just sponsor one more, if you're sitting in this room, you can come to Haven with us and have training with Randy and Elizabeth Draper, Penny Lacey, the Myers, uh, the, uh, Tim Horner. I'm like, hello. Okay, so you can do that. And you've got to qualify by the end of August to do that. So you sponsor three now or four and then do uh, one more. It's huge. It's huge. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're starting the 10 day sponsoring challenge tomorrow. Uh, but this is, I'm going to give y'all a heads up. I'm going to give y'all a heads up. We're going to do a video every day and we're going to have different people doing uh, videos every day. Y'all can't listen to me. Um, so, so, you know how we did the booking challenge in the fall? Who remembers that? And every day I posted a video. Well, it's not going to be me every day. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a heads up. Now, when I say sponsoring challenge, because time is of the essence in June, I would have normally said, you can just set up a piece with these people, these categories of people over the 10 days. But you ain't got time for that. So you are going to actually do OPs within these 10 days. So it's not going to have an after effect. You're going to do it now. And that may mean that you give people, um, Gail Fosters or whoever you like, um, their OP call. And then you follow up with them immediately that day. You don't follow up with them two days later. You do it right then. That may mean that you are busting your tail to go and do one-on-ones with people at a coffee shop, wherever. That may mean that you're bringing people to fun to share. My house better be packed out in two weeks. Packed out. That may mean that you need to call one of your leaders in here and you need to say, girl, I need some help doing an OP. I've got this girl to meet with me. You get with them and see when they can meet with you. And y'all can all meet together, okay? You will be sharing this business within the next 10 days. That's all we have, okay? These are the people you're going to share with. I'm going to go ahead and give you a heads up on the categories. So you can um, be working on that now. Be thinking of this list for people to um, call. All right? And be setting them up. You can totally cheat. You can cheat. Head start. Um, you're going to share with a family member. You're going to share with a neighbor. You're going to share with a teacher. How many teachers are in this room? That's right. You're going to share with a nurse. That's like a teacher, bro. <laughs> uh, you're going to share with a nurse. Woo! Yes. Woo! Who's a nurse? Who's a nurse? You're going to share with a past hostess. You're going to look at your guest surveys and you're going to share with anybody who's a two or above. Because if they are not a one, they are interested. You're going to share with a coworker. If you don't work, somebody else. Yes, that's my tidbit for the day. 
Um, you're going to share with somebody who you do an activity with. That could be church. That could be um, going to the gym, doing yoga. That could be our hot tub. That could be um, soccer, bowling, league, you know, whatever. Okay, some sort of activity. You're also going to share with an old friend, somebody you may not have talked to, Christy Long. Guess what she was? Old friend. You were her friend? <laughs> she knew me in my crazy college days when I wore Chinese girls on my shirts and the back was the back of the girl. Stupid thing. She came to my wedding ten years ago. Almost. Um, yeah. Who was that old friend? Shell Randolph. Well, you weren't that old though. I, not as old as Jillian went way back with me. Because, see, Jillian's sister um, is my best friend from college. Jillian, and she's crazy like me. Just imagine. Okay, and the last category you're going to share with is kid connections. If you don't have kids, think of a different one. Puppy connections. Puppy connections. Uh, or somebody else from one of these other categories, okay? Those are ten categories. Statistics are one in five people you share with should sign up. So, by the end of this month, how many should you sponsor? Two. That's exactly right. How many needs two to get to builder? How many people need two? Mm -hmm. How many people need two to get to designer? No excuses. No. Yes. Um, okay, so last Wednesday night, I was like, oh my gosh, June's going to be over in just a minute. I really need to sponsor like three people right now. And I don't know, I just started freaking out. So, um, <laughs> I created a text and like a Facebook private message and I just highlighted and copied it to like 30 people. Um, and I've had um, probably like <clears throat> close to 20 people say that they would listen to the OP call and answer a few questions for me after. And I've had probably about 10 or 12 that actually wrote back and said, okay, I'll just listen to it, what are the questions? Um, I have several people to follow up that said remind me, but we've been going insane the past four days, so I have to do that still. Um, but all I said was, hey girl, I know you probably think I'm crazy for asking you this, but I'm slightly competitive and I'm up to win $100 cash in a Kindle Fire, so I'm asking to laugh out loud. I know, that you are not <laughs> I know that you are not interested in Premier, but they are offering a super crazy deal for the month of June, so some of my Premier friends in Gainesville are running a contest to see who basically can get most people to listen, whatever, say whatever makes sense to somebody on the other end. All I need you to do is take 20 minutes and listen to a recorded call and then answer a couple of questions. Would you be willing to do that? The number is blah, blah, blah. I will need you to listen to all 20 minutes so I'm playing fairly. Let me know if you will help, no strings attached. And um, but, like a lot of people wrote that that night or the next morning and said, sure, I'll do that for you, remind me, or several of them did it then, <coughs> the next day or whatever. But I have two girls right now that are trying to get the money together to sign up. Does so, it talk about this in the call? No. 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 Mm -hmm. but that's anyway, why you have to be good but, on your you know, knowledge. That's why Lacey's making a video tonight. <laughs> you know, and I mean, most of them have been like, you know, I'm not interested. But I asked, and then I asked them, um, I'll change your mind. Okay, so here are my questions. I say, I'm going to kind of blow it up. Okay, here. Yeah, I'll just copy it and put it on the top. Okay, so I said, and I, I, I totally copied and pasted this to everyone who said they did it. You are awesome. Here are the questions. Just answer when you have time. Number one, keep it personal. Number one, on a scale of one to ten, one being you don't ever want to hear about Premier again for the rest of your life, five being cheating, black out well, and ten being I would like to get started right now, where do you fall? Two, what was the most attractive thing to you about Premier? And three, what would you be from getting started making money with Premier right now? So like this lady said, number one, five. I love to wear it, but I do not want to sell it. Number two, her plus was a, a Christian-based company that helps women, and they look pretty while they're doing it. And number three, I'm not interested in selling Premier. So when she when was are you talking about like, the, the June deal? The second question was, um, if, if they at all lean towards, I mean, like, they pretty much are no, 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 or, oh, that's kind of cool. Like, one girl would be that, and she was like, that was awesome. I'm like, she has like less than no money, so she's trying to. So then you say calls. like, well, the call said it was this much, but this month. It was exactly. Exactly. So anyway, uh, you could do that too. That would just. 
And a lot of these people like are just people I'm like, yeah, I just did a party. I, I don't really know them that well. Like I've, some of them I've met just a couple times or maybe just do a party or whatever. I just see their online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little green like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. And I just close them out. If they don't ever write back, whatever. But a lot of them will. Yeah. Yeah. Individual messaging. Yeah, and text messaging on my phone. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, you got to call people too, but I just, that was just a way to kind of get me started. Yeah. That's, that's thought right now. Yes, people watch you on Facebook. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. They watch. But you're not telling you need help. Yeah, that you're in a yeah, you gotta reach out. Gotta so. like, you can't just be like, "Who wants to hear about a mirror?" No, <laughs> personal or semi-personal. <laughs> <laughs>